electronic engineering at university and after that I went to work for uh, an investment bank. My background is initially in fine arts uh, with uh, painting and sculpture, uh, transitioning into ceramics. Uh, from that I moved into retail, from retail into web design and from web design to here. I'm a trained graphic designer but from 20 plus years ago um, and I'd left actually designing a long time ago because I became a director. My name is Daniel Rosso. Uh, I was a dentist, still a dentist, practicing dentist. I'm originally from Spain and I came to London nine years ago to do a degree in maths, after which I did six and a half years in the banking industry. I want to meet like-minded people. I, th I think of a lot of the stuff that I've done at the moment sort of working in a bank or whatever, I didn't really get on in terms of things in common with the people I was working with and I think it's pretty important to kind of make friends and you know get on with the people that you work with um, and yeah sort of more creative kind of part like you know creative job and uh, yeah essentially hopefully get a, a job at the end of it in, in interior design. For me I believe it's a chance to get back to the more hands-on artistic experience from a web design where I have been, which is a lot of pixel pushing. Interior design allows me to be out in the field and actually touching materials, uh, working with the tradesmen, talking with the tradesmen, interacting more with the client. My uh, perception before the course was it was far, far more than learning about a few fabrics and finishings. It was about structure of properties, it was about lighting, it was about how people live in, in, uh, in situations and indeed not just from a domestic point of view but from a commercial point of view. I found it really um, does what it says on the tin in terms of when you first interview at KLC they tell you it's all very career orientated, it's about really focusing you to after the year is done you know be able to go out and get yourself and it really really is like that it's even in the first two weeks uh, I mean the students have been great I love the studio I'm in the tutors are all very approachable but you really get a sense that everything we're being taught is sort of sort of related back to something real to the tutors real experience of you know a job that they've worked on or something like that and you get re you know you're always asked well why why do I need to do this or that and we're getting all those answers my fears were, was I going to be creative enough? Um, was I going to be able to open my mind enough to new things? And would I be receptive to learning? I think it's been a really good mixture of kind of practical and, uh, and actual lectures and things because uh, we've been in the studios quite a lot and sort of that's been good meeting all our kind of you know, classmates and, and having a go at practically kind of doing technical drawings and stuff, that's been quite fun. I was worried about my technical skills, computer skills, um, I was worried about if I could put it together, put a scheme together, but I found that the assistance from the tutors, they were very supportive. And I'm all kind of maths and physics and economics, so I was a bit concerned uh, that everyone would be from that background, but there are quite a few people that are on the course that are sort of similar, similar backgrounds to me, which was reassuring. The other students have been lovely, actually. Everyone's quite enjoyable to be around, uh, respectful, kind. I'm surprised at the diversity of the student body uh, from all corners of the world. The staff has been phenomenal. Yeah, lots of new skills. I think it hasn't all come together yet. Hopefully this next project that we're just starting to work on will feel like a big improvement from the first one. Where in the first one I thought, oh, I'm doing quite well, you know, I understand how this works with that one. But since then I've realised just how much more there is. I'm amazed with what I've learned in the last couple of months already. Um, I'm quite surprised that it's all sticking in my head. But uh, I'm very happy with how far we've come in such a short period of time.
I'm really curious to get into commercial spaces. I think that's a, a very intriguing area. Um, I know there are a lot more restrictions and parameters. Again, it probably comes back to having rules, but I, I kind of like the aspect of working in commercial spaces. I, li I like that they've come, the sketching and rendering, although it's something that I'm pretty weak at. Um, I, I like that they've spent lots of time sort of teaching us that as well. And for me, that's something that I had no kind of experience with before, so that's pretty fun for me. I think I just need to practice it lots to get better, because there are some super whiz kids that are amazing at it, but uh, one day I'll get there. <laughs> SketchUp, I haven't done a lot of SketchUp, but I think it's an extremely necessary tool because it absolutely gives you an idea of the three-dimensional feeling of a space. I think even such a short space of time was picked up quite a lot. I mean, Max, the teacher, is uh, pretty good at uh, putting across his passion for it. Uh, so I, I enjoyed it and I, I'm surprised how far I got really in just the three days, able to do a you know, 3D plan with furniture, a few sort of hand, free hand furniture pieces, so no, I enjoyed it. SketchUp is really quite amazing. I think it's a nice way for us to complete our elevations in a speedier manner, a much more timely manner, but I still like pen and paper. Vectorworks is much like SketchUp, but I think it's a little, it has so many more layers and much more ability than SketchUp has. It's, it's interesting now, mucking about with it on, on day three, how it too is intuitive. It does the same sorts of things, just on a different level. But Vectorworks is good as well. I love Vectorworks. Um, I, um, I couldn't believe that there was such a lot to learn and such a steep learning curve to get through when effectively really we only had a couple of days tuition at school and then we were off and running ourselves. So I think uh, I'm a big fan of both SketchUp and Vectorworks um, and I think it's again just a question of just the more you do the more you learn the easier it is. Look at me now. Look at me now. I have enjoyed my year. Uh, it wasn't exactly what I thought once I when I went in, but keeping an open mind, it was brilliant, and I am amazed at what I'm taking away from it. The amount of knowledge that's in my head now is phenomenal. I think having the guest lectures from so many top-level designers have been amazing, and just getting a little bit of deeper understanding about myself and what I can accomplish, given six weeks and a drawing board and a bunch of Pantone markers. Yeah, it's been very intensive. It's been hard work, harder than ever I could have imagined, harder than I've ever had to work at university or, or previous jobs, but really, really good. And I've met some great people, both from my class and my teachers and designers that, you know, I've done work experience with or the people that come to give talks. So it's sort of starting to build that network of contacts uh, but it's gone really quickly and it, it feels like we've learnt a lot, definitely, so I've got value for money. <laughs> I've absolutely loved my year at KLC, it has been absolutely brilliant, I've uh, made some really great friends, I've really learnt a huge range of different skill sets yeah. and um, I feel like it's the first time that I've actually enjoyed what I've been studying. Normally studying is kind of a sort of not exciting thing, but uh, this is something that I've really enjoyed on a day-to-day -day basis and really enjoyed getting, you know, coming to school every day and I don't have that kind of dread that you have with work or studying. I, yeah, so that's, yeah, I've loved it. It's, yeah, quite sad that the course is finishing because I've met some really brilliant people and had some really great experiences. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now.